Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to merge two lists in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use two example lists and uh, we can create these two lists with line 1 and line 4 of the code. So if you run line 1 of our code you will see that a new list appears here at the top right of our R studio. We can also have a look at the list with line 2 of the code and as you can see our list is a very, has a very simple structure with only three list elements a, b and c and each of these list elements is containing one value. Um, with line 4 of the code we can create the second list and as you can see again here at the top right another list object is appearing and with line 5 of the code we can have a look at this second list as well and as you can see the second list has also three list elements a, B and C. So the names of our list elements are the same as in list 1. But this time the values that are stored in the different list elements are different compared to the first list. Now if we want to merge these two lists we can apply the map function as you can see here in line 7 of the code. And uh, if you run this code you will see that another list object is appearing here at the top right. In this case we call it list12. And in line 8 of the code um, we can have a look at this new list and as you can see we just created a new list object which again has three list elements a, b and c. So the list elements of the merged list have the same names as the two lists before. However, this time you can see that within each of the list elements there are both values that were contained in the two lists that we merged together. Yeah, so this is basically how to merge lists in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the merging of two lists in R. And in this tutorial I'm explaining the code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video so you can check it out there. And also if you have liked this video of course I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R tutorials in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.